This is where an entire village used to take shelter as atomic weapons were being tested just a few kilometers away. Gaston Maha lived on the Mangareva Island in the 70s and 80s when the French military conducted hundreds of nuclear tests in French Polynesia. On entend Pierre le tir nucléaire sur Scarikitea. On dirait qu'il est sur notre tête. Nuclear bombs exploded in the atmosphere, creating a mushroom cloud above the island's turquoise waters. France began developing its nuclear program in the 60s, carrying out several tests in the Algerian desert before moving operations from its former colony to French Polynesia. It would mark the beginning of a long series of experiments in the archipelago, a total of 193 tests from 1966 to 1996. At the time, experts claimed there was no risk of contamination. Les politiciens montent dans la haute atmosphère, mais à ce moment-là, ils retombent très lentement. La grande majorité des produits radioactifs se sont désintégrés et les retombées correspondantes ne sont plus radioactives. But since then, countless victims and army veterans suffering from leukemia, lymphoma and other forms of cancer have come forward. They say their illness is linked to France's nuclear activities. Bernard Reynold was 25 years old when, as a soldier, he was in charge of collecting radioactive debris after each explosion. He was later diagnosed with kidney cancer. Les autorités vous, vous avez prévenu de la dangerosité de votre métier à ce moment-là, à cet endroit-là Jamais. 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 For many army veterans, it's been a long legal battle to hold the French government accountable. In 2010, a commission was set up to examine each case. More than 1,500 people have filed a complaint, but only a third have received compensation.